Hello everyone, Rafael Manga from Iron Vibes here, and if you are DJ and record your mix at Ableton Live, you will love to have this effect rock that I just made. I spent this whole week copying the exact EQ curve from my Pioneer DJM mixer into this effect rack. I needed to combine two bells in each button with a perfect bandwidth to reach the exactly same frequency cut from my DJM that have same curve from other DJMs. This is very useful for record your mix set. Compared to the traditional EQ3 from Ableton, this doesn't affect it doesn't mess your signal at all and as you can see let me show how EQ3 mess with your track as you can see here i will turn on and you will see what EQ3 makes with the the problem is the crossover frequencies um, You will see. <laughs> As you can see, K3, clip your track. Even if it doesn't nothing, doesn't cut, only to turn on, it will mess with your signal. And I made this one. Let me just turn off to show that that doesn't mess with your track. Right, that 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 I turn off. It's just an input signal, minus one dB, only to avoid clipping when you will use some effect. And in the end, I use a limiter. Avoid clipping if you go too loud. So. Let's test this beauty. So that's it. This is awesome to map in your MIDI controller and play as you were using a Pioneer DJM mixer. And I also recommend you to use a limiter in your master. It will be perfect for release your mix set. Okay. This is for download and you can find the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to like this video if you find it relevant and helpful and leave your comment if you would like some other useful rack. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.